हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एट माई हैप्पी प्लेस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक दिस क्यूट बर्ड हाउस डिकोर पीस दैट आई थिंक यू ऑल विल लव सो लेट स्ट्रेट अवे जम्प इन टू द वीडियो फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दीज बर्ड हाउसेस दैट आई गॉट फ्रॉम डॉलर ट्री एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू पेंट वन ऑफ दीज बर्ड हाउसेस विथ दिस ब्यूटिफुल लाइट पर्पल कलर these paints are acrylic paints and i got all of them from walmart next i'm going to use this pink color and i'm going to paint second bird house with this one now i'm going to use some darker shades and i'm going to paint roof and base of this purple bird house with this dark pink color and i'm going to use this dark purple shade for pink bird house let all the paint dry for at least 2 3 hours then i'm going to use that same purple shade and this bahama blue shade and i'm also going to use this butterfly stencil that i got from dollar tree now i'm placing that stencil on one of the bird houses and i'm going to fill that butterfly Don't put too much paint while filling that butterfly otherwise the edges will smudge Carefully remove it and now I'm going to place a smaller butterfly on the other side and again going to fill it in And here you can see I have some smudged edge don't worry if that happens you can always correct it Once it's dry I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to trace the body and antennas of that butterfly You can also skip this part and leave it as it is but I thought it will give some dimension to that shape and it will look more defined so Now I'm going to take this back side of my brush and I'm going to take a little bit of white paint on it and I'm adding some dots here and there on the wings of those butterflies. I have a foam board here. I'm using it to make base for my bird houses. and i'm just roughly measuring it it's not exact measurements and then i'm going to cut it then i'm going to take this adhesive paper i got it from dollar tree and i'm going to cover that base with this paper Now that my base is ready I'm going to glue those bird houses here. While gluing them be careful and align those edges. Mine was not aligned so I have to move it little bit. Then I'm going to take this dowel and cut some piece and I'm going to glue that piece in this pot. And to add some additional support to that dowel I'm going to fill this pot with some marbles and some rocks. Again I'm taking this adhesive paper and I'm going to cover that dowel with it. Actually first I was going to paint this dowel white but the base of bird houses has this wood finish and it was not looking good. So I have decided to use this paper here too and now it will look coordinated. I mean I hope it will. When I come to the end of this paper I am going to apply some hot glue to the edge so that this edge will not unravel over the time I am going to cut that excess paper from the top so that my base can stick there nice and flat Now I am going to apply a lot of glue at the top and I'm carefully putting that base 
making sure that it is centered make your adjustments before the glue dries and then i'm going to apply some more glue at the edge to give some extra support then i have some white paint here and i'm going to paint that pot with this white chalk paint next i have some greenery here and some flowers i have decided to add these in that pot i want it to look like actual planter pot like the flowers are planted in there and they are blooming out i also have this vine here and i'm going to glue it around that dowel as if it's climbing up and then i'm going to glue those flowers I intentionally choose purple and pink flower because my bird houses are pink and purple so I wanted to coordinate with that. Then I have this moss sheet here and I have already cut it and now I'm going to glue it to the base of those bird houses last step is i have these white buds here i don't know i guess it is called baby's breath but anyway i'm just going to glue those to those corners And since it's a bird house, I'm going to add this Spanish moss as if there is actually a nest in there. Now I'm all done with my final touches and my DIY bird house decor is ready. It turned out super super cute. You can do this easily and all the material is from Dollar Tree so it's budget friendly. Let me know what you think of this. If you love this bird house DIY, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.